everyone welcome back to the channel I hope the day has treated you kindly thanks for being here I really appreciate all of the comments that you leave the interaction is nice Let us tap right in, see what storyline Spirit would like to share with you this afternoon. Collective energy, please, Spirit. Collective energy. Collective energy, please, Spirit. Collective energy. In the central energy, we have the emperor. An authoritative father figure, all about rules and power and structure, discipline to structure. In the challenge position, we have strength. In the upright, courage, passion, a subtle power. You know, the truly power don't have to make a show of it, right? In the subconscious, you've got the hierophant. Society and its rules high level commitment, social conformity and approval, a return to an environment you can trust, <clears throat> in the recent past, you got the lovers, the strength of two together, Intentions and expectations. The magician. Manifestation. Power. in the near future. Five of Cups in the upright. Loss. The lens is being looked through. The Eight of Cups in the upright. Disappointment. In the environment. The Five of Pentacles. Somebody is experiencing loss. Wow, man. 
Five of Cups, Eight of Cups, Five of Pentacles. The Emperor and the Hierophant. And the Lovers. The Strength of Two Together. The Strength. Leo. Your strength will be rewarded shortly. Hopes and fears. <clears throat> the hermit. Shining a light. Soul searching. And this is the completion of a cycle. The world card is here. And the outgoing energy, the outcome. Hmm. Eight of Wands in the upright. Something's manifesting very quickly. And we have here Knight of Cups in the upright. <clears throat> a proposal, a new beginning with the fool and judgment is being called Collective energy, please, Spirit. Collective energy. The Emperor, service, expectation in the reverse, in the challenge position. So somebody didn't get what they were expecting. It, Okay, we're going to continue to clarify. We've got the strength card here in the challenge position. Somebody was too strong. And this came out into the reverse. And we've got yes or no. And in the reverse, and this is a like a puppet master, came out in the reverse. So they weren't able to... Um, manipulate somebody they were too strong got the hierophant here this could be the most high god compass a uh, map a pathway and it's not just a, an open pathway. This is a direct route from the Hierophant. Like the Most High is giving you like <clears throat> <clears throat> your path. This is where you are going. Boom. There you are. And here you are. You got the lovers here. <clears throat> Strength of two together. We got justice, but it's in the reverse. There's a magician here. Remember. 
the lovers are starting to remember. It could be that they're starting to remember what this is all about. Um, we've got the Five of Cups here. Somebody needs to accept this loss. Try to find peace with it. They're haunted. Eight of Cups. They're disappointed. <clears throat> they need to withdraw. A wise guy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Five of Pentacles. So there's insecurity, fear, financial loss. Important. Hopes and fears. We've got soul searching and the completion of a cycle. A backstory. Backstory. Very swiftly. Very swiftly, we have invisible. Very swiftly, and I get this this idea of like people are just gonna vanish, you know, like in a rapture or something. I very quickly there is gonna be this disappearance. We got driver. They're gonna some this players are gonna be driven. They're gonna be taken somewhere. Very quickly, they're going to be made invisible. Collective energy, please. Stay. Collective energy. <clears throat> Collective energy. Please, Spirit. Collective energy. So we've got the emperor here and expectation is in the reverse. Wow. So the emperor is here. He's controlled. He's disciplined. He's about um, protection. Focused <clears throat> on destiny on destiny on the destiny somebody whose values were all about money did not get what they were expecting in this destiny they were not able to puppet you dominate you control your life your thoughts your actions you were too strong you were too courageous. You moved through um, whatever persuasion was being laid upon you. Habits. I don't know if we will ever change. So whoever this is, they couldn't puppet you. They got some habits. You were too strong. You may have habits. And I don't like to call things a habit or an addiction so much as I like to call it um, an experience perhaps of excess in something that may not be so healthy you know because that makes it easier to manage patterning patterning is Maybe it's just me, you know, maybe it's all in my own mind, you know, but if I look at patterning versus habits, and it could be a habitual patterning. You could look at something as a habitual pattern, but 
yeah, I, I have a I have a different way of looking at things and other people look at things, so truth. We got the truth is revealed. The Hierophant is here, Most High God, revealing the truth, giving out compasses. You've got your you've got your um, your roadmap and the truth. You've got your roadmap and the truth, or you've got a compass to the truth. The Hierophant is providing the pathway to the truth. The truth is being revealed through the pathway that this emperor is walking or this strong person here is walking. Let's continue to clarify. We got the lovers here in the recent past, the strength of two together. Oopsie. And we've got somebody, we've got somebody wanting to escape justice. They don't want justice to happen. They want to escape justice. Justice is here and they're like, no, because you're starting, you remember like you're, or, or these children or these, this, these lovers are re being remembered. We've got the magician here. There is, um, manifestation happening. Somebody's making mistakes. They want to escape justice. They're being haunted here in the near future and with a five of cups, they have to accept this loss. They felt like you didn't care or perhaps you felt like they didn't care. Eight of cups, a wise guy leaving behind, disappointed, withdrawing, wants to escape. You are irreplaceable. You're important. And these ones are in a five of pentacles. They've lost. <clears throat> chaser. I don't want to chase anymore. This chaser is in a, is in a five of pentacles perhaps in poverty. This is important. This is something important. There's a backstory here. There's soul searching going on. It's a completion of a cycle. You are whole. There's a backstory to this. <clears throat> These ones who are in um, the Five of Cups, Eight of Cups, Five of Pentacles, they're unworthy. There's a backstory. Very swiftly, um, there's going to be something made invisible or something will become invisible. Guilty, the guilty will become invisible. Very swiftly. Wow, dudes. My goodness. Very swiftly, the guilty will become invisible. This sounds like a rapture. And some people, somebody said the other day, I thought it was all the good people get to go to heaven, but somebody said the other day online, I read somewhere a comment that all the bad people are the ones that are going to disappear. And that right there says, yeah, very swiftly, the guilty are going to be invisible. We've got disagreements. I wish you understood how I feel. They're overwhelmed. There's, they sabotage themselves by lying.
by lying to a soul tie who was with them because they were hopeful, you know, and they're confused. They want to have a conversation with the one that they've caused so much damage to with these third parties because they missed their opportunity. And it's like, it's over. They're being held back. These, these ones who are in their ego, there's, there is holding back and you are moving. They neglected their commitments. They neglected their commitments and you're moving forward into a reunion. You're, this is a reunion. We will always come back to each other. So I don't know. It's like, it's like whoever this reunion is, it's like somebody from long, long ago, whether it be in this life or a previous life or, you know, from another planetary ex ex um, experience, take it as it resonates. There's a reunion. Oops, not these ones yet. That's wild, man. Spirit just laid it right out there. Thank you, Spirit. <clears throat> so... Collective energy, please, spirit. Collective energy. Collective energy, please, spirit. Collective energy. abundance in the reverse the emperor it's like this emperor was trying to find a, a pathway a destiny a, a, a pathway of destiny their values were all about money so they wanted a destiny that was going to be lucrative right is this is this is one way you can read it they didn't get what they were expecting that the title the position or or um the or the abundance because this came out in the reverse so they're still struggling to find the right path. They don't they don't have a path of destiny. Their values are all about money. They didn't get what they were expecting. They didn't get the position or the money. They weren't able to puppet you. They're, um, they got habits. They don't think they'll ever change. And you are just too strong. I hate to read the emperor like this because he's in the upright, but he's right there. Now, this could also be read as though there's an emperor here managing destinies and he's looking at those whose values are all about money those people who are not abundant beings who don't have um, the potentials to manifest from their own inner you know they don't have a, the, the um, I guess the willingness to step outside of the box in out of the comfort zone and then um, pull from within their own inner resources to find out you know what exactly is in there you know what are you capable of you know it's like they'd rather just see what another person's capable of and then go take that but they, they never did get into the reserves of their own seed the own their own gifts so it's wild to me wow courage again wow Shaka laka. They were challenged because they weren't able to puppet you. They've got habits they don't think they'll ever change. And you've got strength and courage. This emperor or the person or the people that are going after your destiny are challenged by your strength and courage. I like to think that the emperor is here watching these people because I feel like honestly. I feel like the Hierophant here is like the Most High God, and I feel like the Emperor could be like the, the Son, you know? The Lord. 
And they're here looking at these destinies and, and the people and what they've been doing. And they, these, they were challenged by your strength and your courage. And it's like, and, and maybe they're challenged by the strength and the courage of the Hierophant and the, um, and the Emperor. The truth is out. The Hierophant's here with the compass, with the, with the pathway. The pathway is open. The pathway is, yeah. The Emperor's there with destinies and the Hierophant's here with the compass and the truth it's like they're they're like surrounding all this they're like <laughs> i don't even know what you would call that it's like you know it's kind of like that success so the truth is out. The truth has been revealed. The um, higher fence here with the compass or with mini compasses, micro, macro, singular, plural, take it as it resonates. It's going to be at least two um, with one compass. Um, you can look at it as a, as a, as a duo or as a, you know, whatever you macro. So the truth is out here regarding those who lack abundance. They don't have, they don't, they're not limitless beings who can manifest whatever they want in this world. They see what other people are manifesting and then they go take it. So they didn't get, this emperor is like, you're not going to get this seat of importance. Your values are all about money. You're, you can't manifest anything. You just are a destiny stealer and no, you can't have this destiny, destined path. This is the truth. They know the truth about this and they're not going to succeed in trying to destiny swap with somebody. <clears throat> the lovers are here and these ones want to escape justice. The lovers are here and it's like this magician made mistakes. Or it could be that um, this sunny, courageous person here is a magician, is from a line of magicians. And when these ones came up against the, this, this individual or individuals, they messed up. big mistake because like I like I've said in a couple of other videos it's not just about blood relatives spiritual inheritance comes from your spiritual family and you've got these blood relatives down here working trickery to siphon the spiritual inheritance out of your family, your star nation family, your, your stars, whatever. Think of it however you think of it. That's how I think of it. You've got two, you've got the, the genealogy of your spirit and you've got the genealogy of your, um, your flesh. Two very different things. And whoever your spirit is, is a very, very powerful manifester. And even though you may not know in the flesh who you are, the emperor and the hierophant know who you are. You're being remembered. And these ones made mistakes. They want to escape justice. Because justice isn't, it's like um, justice, this is justice, but justice is in the reverse. So it could be like they want to escape justice, they don't want justice to happen. Or it could be that this isn't, um, it could be that it's, um, there is no hearing. There's no court date, there's no jury, there's none of that. This is sentencing. Five of Cups, Eight of Cups, Five of Pentacles. 
and very swiftly the guilty are made invisible. This is wild. Relationships that are that serve the higher good. Being remembered, a family of magicians. It's like it's like these are um, spiritual descendants of master magicians, like in a like ancient, like Egyptians and all of that, like ancient, like these are spiritual descendants. I'm not talking of the ancient gods magicians the ancients who could do miraculous things this I feel is who's being remembered right now and why they really screwed up big time they didn't know who the spirit was Or maybe they did and maybe something happened and you know and then another thing happened and now we find ourselves here and everything's slightly shifted and what was isn't and it now appears to be something that you that it once didn't appear to be it's strange how creation or magic can be isn't it creator oh my gosh they want to escape this justice reverse they made mistakes there's death here we've got magician there's a this is a this is the yeah this is this is huge guilt Five of Cups, haunted. They didn't care. They didn't appreciate you. They didn't care. They left you lonely. Eight of Cups, this wise guy. You're irreplaceable. They failed to, um, effectively move against an irreplaceable duo, duo. There's a pair here. There's a pair of magicians here being remembered. The master manifestors, the master strategists, the master creators, the generator manifestors. It's like um, there are like most people are. I I I am I should look it up so that I can verify what I'm saying. But it's one or the other. Okay, there is one. One is a. Um, a generator manifester and then some are manifestors like one comes up like it's it's like dreams up the idea or manifests the idea you know how like they say jesus turned however many fishes into however many fish baskets and baskets and baskets of fish right it's like this replication but there's this also this manifester where there's no fish but you manifest a fish right so the one who has a fish and they can make more fish that's that's the either that's a generator or a manifester okay you duplicate it you're the duplicator 
But then there's the one who actually manifests or, or generates the first fish. Those people are very rare. Most people can take what is already there and duplicate it. Rarely, can, or, 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 or should I say more rarely, can someone actually manifest something from nothing. And I believe this family is um, that abundant, limitless being which can manifest anything they desire in this world. They're from an ancient spiritual lineage. Irreplaceable. Important. service so service it came out in the in the reverse i feel good when i can help others so this chaser was chasing after your position within your family unit or your or they wanted your inheritance this chaser is now in a five of pentacles. They've lost everything. They're not in service to anybody. They don't feel good when they can help anybody. They don't want to help anybody. All they want to do is be seen as important. They don't want to do the work. They don't want to help anybody. And if they do help anybody, you can be certain there are going to be a full camera crew there to film it so that they can tell everybody how wonderful it is to help everybody. Because it's not coming from the heart. It's about, it's about generating a perception carefully, strategically. Envy, because they're envious of those who actually do go out and do, you know, help people from the heart. They don't expect anything. They don't want, they don't tell anybody they did it. They don't videotape themselves giving out, you know, free shoes or whatever. I mean, they just do it, you, you know. These ones are envious and they're unworthy. There's a backstory here. There's a light being shined on souls. This is a completion of the world cycle. Cele time to celebrate life. There's, there's a, there's the backstory here. You are very disciplined. Very swiftly, the guilty will be made invisible. And you can't always expect the truth from others, but you can expect it from yourself. So I guess you can say that might be the truth. That's like an Ace of Swords card. We got worry on the bottom of the deck. They're worried about this change. They're worried about you all focusing on the lighter side of life. Loving yourself. Seeing yourself and others. Not as though others, you know, stuff belongs to you, but as others like... You recognize their spirit or their soul, you know, that connection. And you do so with gratitude, thankfully, you know, balanced. Those who brought adversity to you want forgiveness. But you're moving into love that you can trust. Collective energy, please stir it. Collective energy. So, yeah, this emperor, like, they're in the central energy and they're um, looking at, they're, they're like handing out destinies. <laughs> it's like, in their book of life. 
writing people's names in the book of life. According to the truth. They either go in the book of life and, and get this union or they're disappearing. Wild man. Poverty. Going into poverty. Those whose values were all about money. Those who um, generated such suffering because they wanted money are going to be facing poverty or a life of poverty. They're in bad health. They didn't get the position or the money that they were thought that they thought they were going to get. They're in bad health. They weren't able to puppet you. You were too courageous. You were too strong. Um, there's habits here or habitual patterning. It says, I don't know if we will ever change. They don't know that they'll ever change. Um, you know, they might though. I don't know. I don't need to worry myself about those things. I'm going to focus on my path because I need to know what I'm capable of. I don't need to know what you're capable of. I mean, unless it affects me, right? So habitual patterning is just something that we take a regular look at. You know, you look at it, you're like, am I eating the wrong stuff? You know, you know, you just look at life every once in a while and you look at your stuff. They weren't able to, they weren't able to puppet. This is the way I'm reading this. They weren't able to puppet you onto a path of habits, of, of um, bad habits. And of course, there will always be somebody there that says there is something that you do, which is going to be a bad habit. But obviously, the emperor and the hierophant don't feel that way. These ones who are in bad health now that were going after your inheritance, they could not puppet you onto a path of poor habit, poor, poor habitual patterning. You were too strong. They were not successful. The truth is here. So the emperor's there with the destinies, writing stuff in a book. The hierophant's here, um, passing out the compass. So the emperor's like, here's your, here's your passport. And the hierophant's like, here's your map. For those who possess a light inside, for those who have a light inside, for those who are abundant, limitless beings. For those manifestors, those, yes, for those manifestors, because if you don't have this inside you, you have nothing to manifest from unless you are um, hijacking it off of somebody else. And then it's not yours. All it is is then is, is a mutation of something that you've um, that you've taken and then shifted into your own purposes. So it's not natural. It's not natural. <clears throat> so relationships that are for the higher good are here. The lovers with um, harmony in their union. It's a passionate sexual union with values that are in alignment, okay? It's a deep love, a powerful love based on choice. The pathway is open. The higher fence got the compass here and the emperor has got your passport. These ones uh, made some mistakes. Those ones who came against you, they're in bad health. Those whose values were all about money, they're going to be experiencing poverty. They're in bad health. They want to escape this justice. It's because it's not just, it's not just, this is, <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
the master manifestors are being remembered. Some people call them earth angels. Those who are guilty of moving against you <clears throat> need to accept their loss. With this Five of Cups here, they are being haunted, mentally haunted in the mental body. <clears throat> they didn't get the gift and they're in despair. They didn't get your gift. They couldn't drain you of your life force, of your vitality. They couldn't martyr you and take your spiritual inheritance. The one that the emperor and the hierophant are here making sure you receive right now. They're guilty, they're being haunted. It could be that all of the depression, the anxiety, you know, the um, the the low self-value that everybody was being bombarded with, you know, this this negative self-talk that that um, really um, it's a curse. Okay. The majority of people don't go walking around in the world thinking they're shit, okay? They just don't do that. Anything that sounds anything other than I love and appreciate and value and respect myself is a manipulation from somebody else who doesn't want you thinking too highly of yourself. Through various methods of interfering with the receiver transmitter, of the mental body and the energy system, the nervous system, all that. It's, it's, a, it's a huge transmitter receiving system. And the mental body has had, has a rote going through it of really negative self-talk. And the majority of people are under this hex or curse or whatever, thinking so poorly of themselves. And it's like now it's going back. Those who thought so highly of themselves while they were taking your money and your spiritual inheritance over the previous cycles, it's like now, now they don't get any money and they have to experience this negative mental body with loneliness where they're unappreciated and lonely. Like, so many people have been in the previous cycle totally unappreciated and lonely. These irreplaceable people feeling as though they are unappreciated, left alone. Man, don't think for a minute this wasn't a manipulation. We got the wealthy man not doing well in court. It's not going well for the wealthy man in court. Or he's skipping out on court. This wise guy maybe wants to skip out on court. It didn't go well. You've got the um, eight of cups here. So it didn't, it didn't go well for this wealthy man in the court. This wise guy. Failure. So yeah. Um... I guess he's not wealthy anymore because he's in a five of pentacles. This chaser, this person that was chasing after inheritance, chasing after other people's wealth, not offering, in, sitting in an, in an important position, but not offering any services to anybody, not helping anybody. Just wanting to look important. They're thinking about a courtship. 
they're thinking about these these love unions coming together. This magician and whoever this magician's partner is. This wise guy is thinking about that. And there's soul searching going on. This is the completion of a cycle. There's a backstory. This wise guy is unworthy and envious. They didn't get the sudden wealth. They couldn't take you out. They couldn't absorb you. Eight of Wands, very quickly, we've got guilt and, and then we've got guilty. Very quickly, the guilty will be made invisible and then we've got honesty here. So that's the truth. That's a change that will be made. And there will be a marriage. And then there will be a marriage. The foundation is being cleared. The foundation is being cleared and there is a reset going on. It may not be what your government is telling you or what little sideshow they got going on there. Okay, but there's a marriage coming up after after um after this quick removal or made invisible of the guilty who have caused so much pain, um, there will be a marriage. A return to honesty. There's a mature woman on the bottom of the deck and a mature man getting a message of concern regarding a journey. They are thieves. They are thieves of this privileged lady's abundance. It's this privileged lady who was too courageous and too strong. They were trying to take out this privileged lady and um, absorb her strength, her abundant, limitless manifestation properties. They wanted to become her eat her and then carry her spirit within them. You know, like they do sometimes when they eat the heart of an animal or whatever, then all of a sudden, or, or their enemy, they eat the heart of their enemy and then all of a sudden they carry the spirit of that enemy in them. I don't know, I think there's something like that. But that's, it seems to me like that's what they were trying to do to this privileged lady. Collective energy, please. Collective energy. Of course, you know, um, there is still something big coming up. Um, or there is the expectation, you know, um, and the temple and all of that stuff, you know, they got going on. There is this expectation. So, but we're not here to talk about that right now. We're here to talk about this. Collective energy, please, spirit. Collective energy. Yeah, so um, you, whoever you are, you're from, um, a very high-ranking spiritual lineage. The Emperor and the Hierophant are here guarding destiny and pathways of these limitless, abundant manifestors. The generator manifestors. The power. The 
the creators that can make something from nothing, that can speak the word and have it appear. Goal. The emperor has reached his goal. He's got expectations <clears throat> about these destinies. Yeah, they have habits. So whoever these are, they're in bad health. Their values were all about money. They were doing rituals on this privileged lady. But she was too courageous and strong throughout those rituals. Yeah, they were they were like mind reading, strategizing, trying to like just completely destroy this person. Profession in the reverse. No success. The truth is revealed. The lovers, the relationships that are for the higher good are coming together on this pathway. And these ones who are strategizing against you want to escape justice. It's a death penalty. That's freaking heavy, man. This is like divine justice. It's like the most high is here clearing this. And it's like... Um, So, but you are all relaxed. You earned your merit. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. This is heavy. So you come from a lineage of, of master manifestors, master generator manifestors. A very, very special, irreplaceable person. You're cared about very much. You care very much. Wow. Okay. So what do we got here? We got fate. Eternal love. Blessing. So we've got fate. Let me see here. We got eternal love and blessing, right? Relaxation, merit making. Oh, wait, <clears throat> eternal love and blessing. That goes up here, remember, and magician. <clears throat> and you got these ones who, um, they're not going to, they can't escape justice because it's not just, it's not, it's not, there's no jury. There's no jury. It's, it's a, it's a simple loss. This is a death penalty. They're in despair. They didn't get the gift. They're guilty. Um, they um, are in a five of cups energy. They have to move on. They're mentally haunted. They didn't appreciate you. They kept you in a state of loneliness. And it could be that that's what they were going are going to be receiving. They're going to be getting an, an experience where nobody appreciates them. And where they're left alone. And they won't have any money. They're going to be mentally haunted. Whether it be in negative self-talk or otherwise. I don't know. We got apology here. They want to apologize. This is heinous, man. What what, were, what was going on is heinous. Um, so this wise guy is... They failed. They failed. There's disappointment. Everything just went... Wow. Everything shifted.
it kind of went it kind of went muffled and then it, there was like a kind of a medium tone in the right ear and then it faded but it's like a it was like a covering or a I can't explain it like a denseness all of a sudden and then uh and then this this tone and then a, and then a fading something has happened something just happened hold on i need to get this way withdrawal this wise guy's going wise guys going through withdrawals they failed <clears throat> Didn't go well in the courthouse for this wealthy man. They're they're in a five of pentacles here. They're thinking about this courtship. <clears throat> they're thinking about <clears throat> they're thinking about this privileged lady being with somebody else. They were not in service to anybody. They didn't help anybody. <clears throat> they only cared about being seen as important. But here you are, look. Your prayers have been answered. You're coming into a, 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 a loving union. Soul searching. This is the completion of the world cycle. Celebration of life. There's a backstory to this. This envious, unworthy person did not get your sudden wealth. You're worth saving. You're irreplaceable. Very swiftly, those who are guilty will be made invisible. That's the honest truth. And then there will be a marriage, a union. Uh, the divine unions, divine kingdom spouses will come together. When, when the guilty, when the adversaries are made it, um, invisible, there is, um, they're confused and they're worried about this. They know it's happening. They know it's coming very quickly. It's going to happen. There is going to be loneliness, loneliness. They're going to be experiencing a life of loneliness. There are no more parties, no more endless money. No more people cooking for you, doing your laundry. You'll be lucky if you get to have clean clothes. I don't know, man. I mean, this is tragic. It's been tragic and it's still tragic. But hopefully for those who have already experienced tragedy and trauma and all of that, they can have a little bit of goodness in their life, right? Eternal love, blessing, self-love. You pray, you're connected to spirit, you're connected to the Most High, the Hierophant, the Emperor, the Father and the Son. Accident, no care. These ones are confused, they're worried um, very quickly. The guilty will be made invisible, that's the honest truth. They need to use caution, there's no care here. It's like nobody cares anymore. There's no care. There's sweet dreams. It's like there's just no care about it. You're gonna be moving on. You go to with your friends. You're gonna have some uh, high quality friendships. Live and learn. High quality friendships. Sweet dreams. And those who tried to dominate you are protesting the fact that they've been stopped. <clears throat> this is your game. They want to compromise because this is there's there's death and confinement. This is like a relocation. It's you know when the when the physical the house of flesh ends the spirit is relocated and it seems to me there is an uh an, 
this suggests that there is a redistribution of energies going on right now. We already know this because throughout the world, you know, many people are losing their temples, their, their house of flesh. They're no choice of their own. It's just being stripped of them. And the Hierophant, the Emperor is here like, I don't know, man. I mean, if you imagine, if you, you can see these bombs going off, right? And there's lots of bodies that are being, um, nullified and so the thing about this is is that if you can see if you can look at all the the bombs at the outward expression of chaos and then imagine that on the inside of those perpetrators okay because that's what's happening on the inside of them everything that you see first happens in spirit and inside so all of this, um, all of these explosions are happening inside the bodies. And that is like anxiety, that's panic attacks, that's anger, that's, um, you know, this, mental haunting you can call it whatever you want you can call it schizophrenia you can call it religious witchery you can call it chemical imbalance you can call it whatever you want but it is what it is so we're going to do one more pass just to see a little bit more clarification on what's going on with this um situation I'm glad I haven't misspoken yet. Um, Spirit hasn't shut the camera off, so. Pleasure seekers. Pleasure seekers whose values were all about money. They did not get the position or the money that they thought they were going to get. They were not able to absorb your gifts, your limitless capacity to manifest whatever you desire in, a, in the seen world. They couldn't take your destiny. The emperor is here in regards destiny. And he's handing out the passport. These pleasure seekers were doing rituals on you. They were mind reading on you. And they could not control your actions or your um, habits. So they couldn't drive you into alcoholism. They couldn't drive you into promiscuity. They couldn't drive you into you know, whatever habitual pattern is whatever they were trying to dream up. I don't know. They weren't able to do that. Oh, look, and it came out again, man. Priest. A priest. You were too strong, too courageous. The truth is out here. They were not successful. They failed in their profession. The Hierophant is here with the compass. So the emperor is giving you your passport, the hierophant's giving you your map to the pathway. The strength of two together, they're setting you on your pathway. You've earned merit, you're relaxed. You're gonna break my mouse, baby. <clears throat> They need to go see a doctor. They want to escape justice. They're sick. There's, it's a, that's a, it's a, it's a death penalty. You aren't false, lovers. You serve the higher good. You, your relationship, your coming together serves the higher good. You are limitless beings. You can manifest anything that you want in the world and you operate from goodness, from morals. You have high morals, you know? 
you um, are human and you have humanness. You have compassion for those who are down and out, for those who have fallen astray, for those who maybe, you know, did a little whatever, you know. You're consistent. You're consistent. You're consistently truthful. This is falseness in the reverse. You're consistently truthful. And this one, they want to escape this death penalty. The doctor is here and there's, there's a surprise. Like they're surprised by this. It's fate. They're experiencing a loss. They made mistakes. There's death. This magician is being remembered or this bloodline of magicians is being remembered and they're moving into eternal love. And blessing. Friend. Friend. So these ones, they didn't get the gift. They're in despair. They're guilty. They're in this um, Five of Cups energy. They're sorrowful. They need to walk away. They're haunted in the, in the mental body. They're apologizing. They are lonely or they will be feeling lonely. It's like no, like nobody appreciates them. They're feeling like nobody appreciates them. Like maybe everybody that they were working with no longer wants to have anything to do with them. They're lonely. They want to apologize. They're making a confession. Guilt again. Guilt twice. Prison. Wow, man. I'll tell you what, the most high, the master um, strategist and um, presence in this world and family of stealthy, wealthy, or stealthy, um, yeah, man, ninjas. mind they're in a they're in a yeah okay so they're in a prison of the mind they're being haunted they want to apologize wise guy misfortune failure wow uh emperor and hierophant they're not they're not playing man with their family. This is their family. Soldier. Yeah. This um, soldier. This wise guy. That was has been fighting against this family. Of, of master manifestors. Um, coming trying to fight against a sweetheart fighting against a sweetheart they're going to be making a journey and this reunion is happening they're in despair over it they're in sorrow You love yourself. You're coming into a courtship. Your prayers are answered. Your prayers are heard. You're important. These ones, um, they weren't in service to anybody. And they're experiencing a financial loss. A five of pentacles, this chaser. And they're not happy. We got cheerfulness in the reverse. They're not happy. Of course they're not. They're losing everything. You're worth saving. You are an irreplaceable person. And whoever this is... You know what is it's like? It's like, you know, in, say, however many cycles ago, okay? I mean, okay, you got the, the big cycle, but then you've got little mini cycles within the cycle, right? And these guys have been doing this for a long time. And it 
it's like they wanted it's like this sweetheart was was married to this priest or something at some point and this priest had habits and and it's like she didn't approve and she was like no i don't want to have anything to do with that and then they like martyred her and was like trying to absorb her and stuff it was i don't know that's what i'm getting off of this the ultimate betrayal of a love and protector supposed 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 person of God, supposed person of love, supposed protector, was a master strategist and ritual seeking pleasure. You're faithful. You are seen as faithful and worth saving. So the emperor and the hierophant here, the most high God sees you plagued by this thief yeah and they don't get your sudden wealth there's no frivolity frivolity is in the reverse cheerfulness is in the reverse they're in danger nobody cares they don't know what to do. They're hesitant. Very swiftly, the guilty will be made invisible. That's the honest truth. And then there will be a marriage in the house. In the house. With the Lord. A marriage with the Lord in the house. Everybody's talking about it. Some people are sighing about it, all sad. There's a young warm woman who's going to be, who's waiting to get married. The bride is already chosen. And this, this enemy scholar is in sorrow and despair over this reunion. All right, everybody. I don't blame you for being head shy, if you are. I mean, I think all of us are at this point. See you on the next one.